Presently, we don't have an explanation for how they're doing this. But one thing is clear. This is no fluke. Thank you, Mr. Westbrook. I want a full briefing when I'm back on board. Solano out. A targeted weapon that inhibits warp travel. Coming from the moon Tau. That would explain the difficulties my shuttle encountered. More importantly, the tenor of the Hotari during the negotiation. And here I thought the Elidians would be the problem. Coming to peace talks in a warship. This wasn't supposed to be so complicated. We're right to be worried. If they're targeting the Resolute and we can't go to warp, that effectively leaves us at their mercy. Which puts us in a rather difficult position. Especially if they have more tricks up their sleeve. Tylus, the Hotari representative, said she thought they found something in the mines. Galvin and Sidron brought it back to the palace, but they're keeping it under tight security. She's going to investigate it. I gave her my tricorder. I expect she'll contact us soon. You found an ally. Why would Tylus help us? Go behind her people's back? It's a fair question, considering. She doesn't like the way Galvin and Sidron have been manipulating the situation. And the Queen. Working with us to go around them isn't the same as betraying her people. Hmm. That may be true. She's certainly more likely to help than the other Hotari we've met. That raises another question. Specifically, what do the other Hotari have to gain in bringing us here, only to make this hostile maneuver against us? There must be some motivation. Sidron was very curious when we spoke outside the Queen's chamber. He wanted to know all about us, our ship, the Federation. He wasn't giving any answers. He was looking for them. Well, I'm sure you didn't tell him too much. I don't think the Elidians know what's really down on that moon either. Major Armentis said the revolt defied explanation. That the Hotari miners somehow harnessed the energy of the storm. Harness the energy of the storm. Doing that is beyond even our capabilities. So is a weapon that disrupts warp travel. There have been civilizations and entities, both past and present, far more technologically advanced than the Federation. The Elidians and Hotari don't fall into that category. But that is all the more reason to investigate further. Commander Rydak, sorry to interrupt. We've received an urgent call from Hatari. Queen's advisor, Tylus, has asked to speak with you. Put her through. Galvin and Sidron are still with the Queen. I've enlisted help to gain access to the room they have under guard. I don't have much time. I'm not supposed to leave my post. It's only for a moment. I so appreciate your help. I found something. I'm sending you a scan. Got it. Tylus, if we needed to gain access to the mines on Tau, is that something you could help us with? I suppose it wouldn't be easy, but... To go. Tylus. Can we reconnect? Sorry, Captain. We've lost all contact. We can only hope she escaped without harm. It was hard to tell. I'm the one who got her into this. If something happens to her, it's my fault. She's one of the Queen's closest advisors. I'm sure she'll be fine. Assuming the Queen isn't part of it. Let's see the scan of whatever the hell that was. Tylus suspects this came from the mines on Tau. Hmm. It appears to be of ancient origin, but the markings are unfamiliar. We can run a full analysis when we get back to the Resolute. But if this came from the mines, then it might be the key to how they got the upper hand against the Lydians. Then we have to go into the mines. 
The Federation would not allow that. We were, after all, sent here to be a neutral party in a peace negotiation. However, we could demonstrate that the Hotari have acted in bad faith, which would enable us to investigate the mines on Tau with full justification. But of course, we would need conclusive proof before taking action. Whatever this artifact is may be proof enough, at least to satisfy the Federation. Especially if we can show the Hotari are controlling the warp disruption and targeting the Resolute. We may have a better understanding once we analyze the device. But a mission to the mines, covert or otherwise, is not out of the question. And I will handle the Federation.